A big thank you to uh, Dr. Purvish Parikh for doing the honors. And a uh, huge vote of thanks to all the eminent panelists. And we are here graced by our stars of the evening. Mr. Sanjay Dutt, Mrs. Priya Dutt, Dr. Mrs. Tarang Gyan Chandani, and Dr. Vijay Hari Bhakti. Kumar, sir, we missed you. Are you in the room? We still need to. Kumar Prabhashi. Thank you, sir. We haven't felicitated Dr. Kumar, Dr. Kumar Prabhash. I would like to welcome Mr. Sanjay Dutt, Mrs. Priya Dutt, Dr. Tarang Gyan Chandani onto the stage. Sir, could I need Sir, could I need the stage pe? Sir, please be on the stage, sir. Sir, please be on the stage. Hari Bhakti, sir, we are looking for you. And uh, Dr. Moni Kuria Kaur, sir. Dr. Moni, please. Sir, please. Venkat is not here, right? OK. So thank you, and uh, thank you, very big thank you to the media as well. But uh, we just wish to take it on now further. And uh, firstly, I would uh, say a huge thank you for, uh, to uh, Mr. Sanjay Dutt and Mrs. Priya Das for gracing us on this occasion. And just to fill you in, we have a room full of international and national faculty deliberating on precision oncology. This is a collaborative uh, uh, evening with uh, Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital. And we are hosting Karkinos here. And Karkinos international delegates were just up here deliberating uh, on precision. And uh, thank you for making time uh, to really elevate the cause and bring it out up front. I would also take a moment to thank Dr. Tarang Gyan Chandani for backing this event in the way she did. So really grateful and also grateful for elevating the cause, backing us all in precision for, first of all, hiring me uh, to lead the precision uh, division. And really, really grateful for that. Because I say this, because in India, and we heard uh, Mr. Vivek Badwa how we are far behind. But in India, even to make a mark and come in to uh, put up a precision clinic, to put up a precision center, was a huge effort. It was audacious, to say the least. And I look forward to the collaboration that we have out here today to see how we can take 
precision forward to the next level and really meet expectations of Mr. Vivek Badwa as presented in the last panel discussion. So with that, uh, I thank Dr. Advani sir, Dr. Munia, Moni Koryakos, Dr. Uh, Vijayhari Bhakti sir, all of you all for gracing us this evening and for your valuable time. We will go ahead with a few uh, events next. We'll go ahead with the lighting of the lamp. Then we have, uh, we'll have a quick word from Dr. Tarang. Then we will do a launch of our patient navigation program with Mrs. Priya Dutt and Mrs. Tar Dr. Tarang. And then myself and uh, Mr. Sanjay Dutt will sit in a conversation to highlight some of the precision facts. And I know his words will reach the masses, which will, which will go beyond the limitations of the four walls of this hall, because he is a star and he is a precision poster child. Thank you so much. I welcome you all uh, for the lamp lighting. Just give us a moment to uh, do, the, do the preparations. Who's helping us with the lamp lighting? So the lamp lighting is being done to really bring the cause of precision forward, to wish for progress of precision, to wish for progress of personalized and individualized therapy, and to wish and hope that it comes true that the revolution arrives in this very decade. And Mr. Vadva's words to cure cancer in this decade happens. Amen to that. Could we please have the Saraswati Vandana?
dear faculties oncology experts reliance foundation hospital precision oncology team the kakinos team cancer survivors cancer warriors and their families students and other guests a very warm good evening to all of you from all of us thank you so much for coming here today this evening to be a part of this one of a kind event i would also like to specially mention how thankful we are to you dr seventy for organizing such an event and it's all because of the fact that she believes so much in precision oncology she believes so much in this vision to get the best to the people of india so very very warm thank you to you dr seventy in the beginning uh, of this uh, uh, she said she mentioned to me that thanks for us to hire her i would like to say that um, i can only say that we brought her to the place where she belongs to uh, it's been only a um, few months that we have her but i don't think any one of us in rfh feels that it's been only few months we always we felt he that she's always been a part of us so um, i think we have just brought the right person to the right place to do the best for the people of our country <laughs> cancer as we all know is a ruthless disease it in, it evolves constantly and spreads relentlessly it's hard to catch and even harder to treat however with precision oncology the world of cancer treatment is changing while the traditional methods treat cancer of di by disease type precision oncology brings in the integration of molecule molecular tumor profiles into clinical decision making to provide the best cancer treatment with the increasing use of genomic profiling for diagnosis and therapy guidance in many tumor types precision oncology is rapidly reshaping cancer care the goal of precision medicine is simply to deliver the right cancer treatment to the right patient at the right dose and at the right time each patient is unique for us at sir hn reliance foundation hospital and we are indeed committed to the concept of precision in whatever we do and i am proud to say that we run the first precision cancer centers in the country we are moving towards complete digitization of the hospital where data retrieval data sharing would become an easy possibility we are also committed to investigator initiated and industry based research and have taken several steps to facilitate that we have also partnered with ilon precision oncology in a unique effort to bring the best of global precision oncology care to our patients not only in mumbai but across india we welcome the possibilities of collaborative work with kakinos we are already working together in the area of cancer screening with kakinos for which we provide access to kakinos for diagnosing and screening those people who usually don't have an access to the highest level of cancer screening or highest level of cancer care and through the initiative of reliance foundation and sir hn reliance foundation hospital all these patients who are screened and come out with to be positive with cancer are treated for free by our experts with the best of precision oncology that we could bring to them at the reliance foundation hospital we are dedicated to world class cancer care and precision efforts and with this i would also like to welcome all of you to this great evening and you i hope you all will enjoy your interactions whatever you have had so far and whatever we will have going forward i would also like to once again thank all the 
experts in the field of oncology who are here today and who have uh, blessed us with their presence today. I think we all need a forum and we all need a place to come together to do the best and the patient navigation system which we would be uh, launching soon at Sir Adrian Reliance Foundation Hospital uh, this evening will help us to ensure that we play some role in navigating the patient's journey when he or she is diagnosed with this deadly disease. Most of the time we always feel, and this I have seen with many patients, whether the patient comes from whichever, uh, whichever background, it doesn't matter, but nobody knows what should I do, where do I go, what, sh what should be the next step of my treatment. So this patient navigation system will just try and integrate our efforts so that we can get the best to our patients across the country. It may not be always through our hospital because we are here as of now only in Mumbai, but it will be through whichever of the best of the experts is situated in the country or beyond the country to give them the best care. So once again, I congratulate you, Dr. Sevanti, for this wonderful initiative. And with this, I would also like to uh, pay my humble gratitude to a legend in the field of oncology, which is nobody else, none other than Dr. S.H. Advani. So thank you so, so much, sir, for being here on this day with us. I'm always grateful to him that he has always uh, showered his blessings for whichever effort I, in my personal capacity, have ever done for uh, cancer. And he's always been there. So really, thank you so much, sir. And Last but not the least, the person who had the vision for providing the best cancer care at Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital, who started this park, who created the department, and who have created, who has treated and cured. I can't. I'm not sure whether I can say millions, but I'm sure it is millions of patients. So, Dr. Vijay Haribhakti, thank you so so much uh, for this and uh, for all your efforts. And I'm sure with all of you here uh, in the audience, we would be able to definitely embark on this journey of precision oncology with the torch that Dr. Seventy is carrying in her hand. We just need to ensure that we carry it to everybody in the country and it does not get restricted only to a few people. So thank you so much and have a great evening ahead. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Dr. Tarang. That was amazing. That was uh, so encouraging. Coming from uh, you, I have always, uh, you know, right from my first interaction, uh, been very inspired by your leadership and by your backing. And coming from you, I'm sure there's a loud and clear message that goes out to the masses, to the leaderships in the country, and also to international leadership. We really need to put precision up front, front and center on the table. With that, I come to the next section of the program where we launch our patient navigation program. We will just uh, go ahead with the video. In the meantime, we'll unveil the poster with our esteemed uh, uh, guests here. And in that, I uh, would like to uh, specially dedicate this to Mrs. Priya Dutt. Thank you for being here this evening and for all your work in cancer care with the Nargis Dutt Foundation above and beyond. We have been inspired by your journey. I know patient navigation is very close to your heart. And uh, for that very reason, it wasn't, there wasn't a better day, there wasn't a better moment than to uh, launch this program in your presence. As we launched the patient navigation, we also launched two subparts of it, 
which will grow into uh, fruition down the line. The first precision navigation program. If you Google, you will not find a single precision navigation program worldwide. And I think it is the call of the hour in India to navigate our patients. The tests are difficult, the treatment even more difficult. So precision navigation program looks at compassionate drug access, looks at clinical trial, looks at research-based therapy, looks at diagnostics, looks at guiding our patients to do the routine diagnostics and therapeutics. And lastly, many, many of my clinical trials have gone unfilled. These are cutting edge immunotherapy drugs. So we also will be launching a vertical with research navigation program. And thank you, a big shout out to the patients and the patient families that are in the audience that have made this successful. After the video, we have a small slideshow uh, acknowledging the contribution of the precision patients and also to the patient advocates in the crowd, Mr. Pr Prabhat Sinha, Mr. Uh, Sanjeev Sharma, people who have guided me really to bring this here. And last but not the least, to Ms. Sarika from Karkinos. Antra Karkinos is doing a tremendous job in patient navigation with a command center that is serving the community. We wish to be, have uh, association initiatives like Karkinos on one side be the anchor from the community to the corporate centers, leading centers in tier one cities to the international connects with an initiative that I founded uh, along with my dear colleague Dr. Sandurai Mani like Ilon Precision Oncology. There will be many initiatives like that if one can anchor with the help of navigation. You navigate the community, you navigate them to connect with the international availability of data, drugs, applications. With that, we will begin the launch and take a moment uh, uh, after that to hear from Mrs. Priyadat. We can start and please uh, bring the poster. <laughs> Mr. Prabhat Sinha, Ms. Sarika from Karkinos, you could just come up on stage, please. So we can go ahead and uh, open the ribbon, and the program is called Sarathi. As we know, uh, Bhagwan Shri Krishna carried us all together through the chariot in Mahabharata. The Sarathi envisions to do that to guide our patients, to help support who we care so much about through all the tests from diagnosis to therapy, through precision-based application, and through the clinical trial availability research-based applications. A much needed effort in India Tata Memorial Hospital has been an epitome where this kind of navigation has happened. I feel many corporates should take this initiative and kudos to Karkinos to have done this in the community. We intend to bring it front and center in our corporate setting. Thank you, thank you all, and thank you for navigating me into this. Thank you, thank you. Mrs. Priya Dutt, I would request you for your kind few words. Thank you so much, Dr. Sevati, esteemed guests on the dais, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite overwhelming for me to be here uh, today, especially with a room full of uh, oncologists. Um, it's really humbling to see this program being launched because I represent those people who really cannot afford the kind of treatment 
what hospitals have to offer. Many, many of them, as you know, and I think I'm sure there are many doctors who have uh, come from Tata Memorial Hospital. And we see the condition of the patients there. So many who can't even receive the treatment because they cannot afford it. Many abandon the treatment. So I think it's really, really important for programs like this, which can really help patients in need, patients who cannot afford. And we've been working in the field for the last 40 years, and we've seen how cancer treatment has improved tremendously. We've got the best hospitals the best doctors, the treatment is getting better every day, but one thing remains is the cost of treatment. And I think uh, that is something which we really have to look at. And um, I want to congratulate uh, Dr. Sevanti to have thought of that. And um, I think this is going to be a huge step forward, especially for those patients who can come into clinical trials you know, can get the best treatment and uh, slow and steady, but I think we are going to be getting there very soon. So thank you so much for having me here and giving me this opportunity to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for uh, gracing us. And now uh, the section that everybody here is waiting for my conversation with Mr. Sanjay Dutt. Uh, yes, yes, sir. That was the that was the program. And thank you so much for all the uh, senior delegates. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thran. Thank you. Chetan, you have to muscle up. I'm just moving it because we are joined by uh, two of our guests. Please sit. So we are uh, going to be joined by Mrs. Manita Dutt, uh, who needs no introduction, the better half, and uh, Mr. Paresh Ghilani uh, from the US. Mrs. Manita Dutt is in Dubai. We have them uh, joining in with us on Zoom. Mr. Sanjadat needs no introduction. The entire room here has been waiting for him all evening. Thank you so much, Sanjay, for uh, gracing us on this occasion. We know he has, he's an award-winning actor. We know he is uh, a light that many of us look up to. What we also know that he's one of the humblest human beings. It has been a true honor to serve you as your doctor. One of the uh, things I always pull his leg on, I call him Sanju, he calls me Sevanti Ji. It's always been like that. It's so amazing. That's the degree of his humbleness. For the patients, the patient advocates who are in the room for my colleagues. I want to bring to light what many of us already know, but would like to know from you directly. And I will begin from the beginning of your cancer journey. Sanju is also the global champion for cancer care and was appointed to be this by the Defeat NCD partnership based in Geneva, and he has been doing work on that with patient awareness, precision awareness. But this is something that happened later after the diagnosis. When he was diagnosed, of course, there must have been many, many emotions that he must have gone through. And uh, 
So I begin with the question, what were the first feelings when you were told? And how did you react to it? Good evening, everybody. And uh, it's such an honor to be here uh, today to share my experience. And uh, I just want to thank everybody sitting here and who's willing to help uh, people who are in need like me. I just want to say that I am a real life hero, but she is the real hero out here. You know. That's very kind. I mean, I do all the bashing and dancing on screen, but she does it in real life. And uh, as your question goes, Sivanti ji, is that, uh, you know, I, I was just talking to my sister and uh, Dr. Tarang and <coughs> everybody inside is that, how do I come to know that I have that I have cancer? I mean, I, I didn't know about it. I mean, I had some backache and stuff like that. And I was just being treated, you know, with a hot water bottle and some uh, painkillers. And uh, till I, I just couldn't breathe, you know, one day. And uh, I was taken to the hospital and they saw there was a lot of lung uh, water in my lungs. And they did some tapping stuff. And, uh, but the thing was that, that, that I had cancer was not broken to me in a proper way. You know, it was done in a different way where uh, my, my wife was not there, my family, sisters, nobody was there, I was alone. And this guy walks up and he says, okay, you got cancer. So it hit me. Uh, I just couldn't understand it and then uh, my wife was in Dubai and uh, you know, she didn't know about it. Then Priya was told, Priya came and she said that you, you know, you, I think that you got cancer. So uh, my first reaction was that, uh, okay, I got cancer. What do you got to do about it? I mean, see, you know what happens? Your whole life reflects back on you. I mean, uh, you know, everything just came back and my children and my you know, and I have a history in my family. My mom died of pancreatic cancer. My wife died of uh, the brain cancer and everything. And it, it was like a shock. So at the first thing I said was, I'd let it be. I don't want any treatment. So they said, you have to be treated. I said, I can't take chemotherapy and all that stuff. So let it be. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be and I'm going to go. So uh, Rakesh Kumar ji, Rakesh Roshan ji, he spoke to me and he says, Ke Sanjay, there's this doctor, Sevanti. She's amazing and all that. And you go and be treated by her. I said, sir, I'm not interested. He said, I'll tell you something. She's really pretty also. I said, really? I said, I said then I'm going. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I went and we met Sevanti ji. See, uh, wo I realized one thing is that uh, I had to fight this and uh, I just didn't have cancer. That is it. I'm, I'm being treated for something else. And uh, I think initially you couldn't understand, I mean, how come I'm telling you all that, right? That's correct. That's very correct. He said, I'm going to just think I don't have cancer and whatever it is, I'm going to beat it. That's how I'm going to take it. And I'm just uh, sitting there staring at him, thinking, you know, how we define denial in our uh, books, I thought, oh, he's in denial. But actually, he wasn't in denial. He had just pledged to go through this, be brave about it, and face it head on. And that's what played out through the treatment. You know, I saw my family break down. I saw my wife breaking down. I saw my sisters broken. I saw everybody breaking around me. And I decided one night, I sat down and I told myself, I said, if I break down, if I fall sick, they are going to fall sick. You know, so I mean, I got to not fall sick. And uh, I'm going to be so tough. I mean, what is cancer? I mean, I fought so many battles. I'll fight this thing, whatever it is. And we went for the treatment and uh, there was a pipe put in my chest, I think to drain the water out. 
and uh, I remember I told Sevanthi ji, this is going to come out in two weeks. I told you this. Yes, correct. And what happened? It did. And when he came back for the two weekly follow up, uh, I told the surgeon who had put the tube in, we are in for a challenge because he's expecting that the tube will come out. And will it? Because it was all hemorrhagic. It was bloody pleural effusion. It was bloody fluid in the lung. But two weeks later, the fluid had already dried out. That's where I would like to mention the angle of precision. So, uh, Sanjay, when we were testing you, before the treatment, we sent out some tests. We sent out blood tests, we sent out tissue-based tests, and now you are one of the biggest proponents of the testing. So we found a particular test that was positive. PDL one PDL one test was positive. And you know, we drew diagrams and we drew if the PDL one was this much, this is what the treatment will be. If the PDL one was this much, this is what the treatment will be. But even with the biomarkers, Sanjay, and that's a confession, was overtreated. Uh, his PDL one was very high, but still I didn't have the courage to give him only immunotherapy, which is the uh, which is the standard of care, and he was treated with combination chemotherapy and immunotherapy. And I would like to acknowledge that I did not cut any doses. He is a gentleman with a Caucasian build, and he was hammered with the right doses, 100% doses, as per his body surface area. No corners cut. And the day of the therapy, and the next day, and the following day, and the day after, and the day after, he would continue to exercise every day, every single day, two hours on the treadmill. And I would get the uh, WhatsApp of his exercises. And many of us who were involved in his care would, would get that. And you also went back to working almost right away. We want to hear from you how all that happened. You know, I uh, realized one thing is that, uh, uh, I mean, I didn't want to lie about the cancer, you know. Uh, you know, people kind of uh, don't want to make it public and they want to just not tell people and uh, because, you know, the work suffers and you know, there are a lot of factors which are involved in, uh, in this. But uh, I chose to speak about it, yeah, I mean, at the cost of my career or anything, so that I could help uh, people who are in need, you know. And uh, I told Sevanthi ji, is that, uh, Sevanthi ji, can I please uh, go for my shooting? So she said, no, no, you can't go for your shooting now, it's just started. Speak of COVID. <laughs> speak of COVID. Yeah, but it, chemo had just started. Oh. I said, you have to let me go. I said, it's for my... Uh, my moral boost and uh, it's for the people of the industry who I'm working with that I got to go for that shoot. I convinced her and I went and she said, what is the shoot? I said, I just have to stand there and that's it, you know. But uh, it wasn't like that. I was put on a harness and I was hanging upside down and… Six hours he was hanging upside down in a harness right after chemotherapy. I was told he was just going to do like a dubbing, a small shoot, something like that. But he was doing that. So one thing that he touched upon very, very quickly was one of his strongest points, and I want to bring that up front as I see uh, I have Priya, Miss Priya, the Mrs. Priya Dutt in the crowd, and I see Mr. Paresh Gilani, Sanju's good friend here, and Mrs. Manita Dutt as well. One of the things that he touched upon was friends and family. And second thing he touched upon was being upfront. So when he came to treatment with me and uh, I was getting hounded by media and I wouldn't pick up my phone, I said, Sanju, how do you want me to present the story? And he said, as is. I don't want to hide anything. You can go ahead and tell what you want to, as is, as I'm going through therapy, no changing of facts. That, I think, was, is very courageous. That and the fact that he never hid anything 
from friends and family. And you can see his family and his friend from long distance. His lifetime friend, Mr. Paresh Ghilani. Paresh, thank you so much for joining us. And Mana, thank you. A big thank you to you also for joining thank us. Thank you, Doc, for having me. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for having me. And uh, Paresh, do you want to say something? Uh, uh, you know, Dr. Samanthi, obviously, you've been a champion leading this entire effort uh, and doing it. Obviously, and you know, when this whole thing happened, uh, it was came shock to everyone. Obviously, uh, just as it is every patient actually does when they feel cold. Um, it's it's the it's the courage of the patient, which which happens to be you know Sanju we call him, and then it's Sanju that, um, and the family that comes around, and and then eventually leans into a caretaker who leads that, which is you, uh, navigating the entire thing. It was a complex role, what we found out. It was COVID, midst of the COVID, uh, don't know what to do, can't stay in the hospital, you may get infected. If you stay there, if you get out, what do you do? It was, it was a chaos in a certain, in, in, in a many ways. And how it actually became together as, as you know, Priya stepped in immediately. Mana, unfortunately, was in Dubai. I was in the US, how it had to be collaborated, but then it was anchored around you to actually lead us to, to what it is. Courage of Sanju, which is always shown you know, in, in many ways to just, just buckle up and say, you know what, let's face this, you know, and take the bull by the horn, ride it. You led us and we support it. And, and, and obviously the navigation part was extremely important. And, and I believe how it all came together was, was obviously a miracle, but it was also very deliberate, you know, and a part of exploring every options that we had. Uh, you actually led the way, and and, and obviously the, the hospital at that point was full of Kokila Ben and your support staffs and everybody. It was it was a definitely an effort, uh, which I believe that should be sp spread and also be been been learned from. Um, giving all the tools and, and access we had, obviously it was limited because of COVID, but uh, I truly believe that what you have led along with Sanjay's courage, we're just, Priya, myself, Mana, and everybody just playing a supporting cast. Thank you, and thank you, thank, a big thank you to you too, Parish, for uh, all your support all the way through, and for being uh, uh, Sanju's biggest support so far, and of course, uh, uh, his, his uh, lifetime friend. So thank you. Thank you, Paresh, for joining us as well. I, will... know, and I, I must say, right, that Sanju didn't stop because he said, OK, this is a treatment for me. And, and he literally sent in because, you know, when he said, he goes, brother, listen, I have it. Mom had it. My wife had it. This happened. What do we do? As I go along, he always kept in mind, said, well, OK, fine, we're getting this, you know, and we can get into details later. But how do we explore this precision medicine and in this extremely cutting edge technologies that we actually are researching around the world? And then when he mentioned, I said, well, I think these options are here. Um, intimately, we're not going to make have any stone untorn for your care, let's start with what you're doing and then we move on to the, make sure that we have every, even even as a secondary, third, second, fourth option stuff. And then, and then when he visited, obviously he came to US, you know, for exploring. His first thing was, brother, listen, not everybody will have this access. How do we extend this thing to everyone else? You know, where they can't afford. Very similar to mom who used to say, right? How do I afford the, the diagnostics? How do I people even know they have cancer? How do we do that? And then he was constantly involved. How do we do take this, what I'm able to access, take it back home and explore it to everybody. And which is, I believe, the man just faces everything head on. Along with it, he kept and saying, you know hey, is there anything we can help everybody along with it? They will never have access to this, what you have and what we have, right? Which is, I truly believe that's something you're trying to bring back to 
you know, to the mass access, and you know, I commend you for it. Yes, that is the hope, that's the goal, and uh, the reason to uh, really welcome Sanju to this stage was to raise the awareness, elevate the cause, bring it to be bigger than me and the doctors in this room. It's all about the patient. It's all about him, how he sought the diagnostics, how he turned around to take the treatment. Someone who had the first thoughts of not getting treated, then treated and in complete remission, and what a story. I say Sanjay Dutt, Mr. Sanjay Dutt is a poster child of precision oncology, and two years later, even the immunotherapy has been stopped. He remains in complete remission with no evidence of disease. With that, uh, I, th I thank Paresh, and I would like to uh, welcome uh, Mrs. Manita Dutt. Mana, would you like to say something? You know, this uh, topic is so close to my heart that, you know, every time I fall short of words because there's so much in my heart that, you know, I mean, my emotions take over my uh, my words and I'm always short of words. But, you know, I, I know having said that, uh, you know, Priya has been like fantastic uh, with uh, uh, everything, you know, I mean, uh, of course, it's not just because she has been dealing with a lot of cancer patients or cancer is, has been like in the family with my mother-in-law and uh, with Richa, but also she's such a strong person. And, you know, that time uh, I was not there. I flew in the next day after the news was broken out to Sanju. Uh, as you said, you felt Sanju is in a stage of denial. But when I looked at Sanju, he was very composed. He was calm and he just looked at me and he said, mom, get ready to fight. And you know, this is what I've been doing since the time that I know him, 18 years of my life that I am being with him. Uh, I have done one thing blindly is I've believed in him. I have trusted his instinct. And so I was like, okay. And we decided as parents to Sharan and Ikra that we are not going to expose them a lot to what we are going through and uh, that has always been uh, a part, uh, a, a strong decision from us as parents and uh, that we believed in and of course, you know, and I just followed Sanju. I am personally a strong believer of being very positive with my approach towards life. I believe what you throw to the universe comes back to you. And Sanju was just practicing that. He said, I do not have cancer. I'm going to fight it. And that's how it went. So we had all the planning in place, but you know, execution requires a lot of discipline. I was a bit worried uh, knowing Sanju, you, you know, I mean, I've been 15 years of marriage and knowing him for 18 years. He is the most undisciplined person. I mean, we all know, I mean, he has, being, you know, I mean, there, you know, but, you know, this was a task, but, you know, how beautifully he has just molded himself. And, you know, I feel, you know, every time there is something that has gone wrong, the most righteous way the righteous person has come out of it. So I feel so proud and I feel great that today he's there as a face of this cause. And, uh, yeah, you know, just keep it going, stay strong. Because I feel, uh, Sanju, you are there, n born here not for being entertaining. You said you're a re real life hero, but I feel you're, you're, you're born for a much larger cause in life. You know, you have been, uh, you know, face of so many good causes, but I think this is putting your life there and teaching people, look, I have done it, you can do it. I think this is something, I mean, I feel proud and I feel it's very commendable. And of course, uh, uh, Dr. Sivanti, you have been a very uh, strong uh, part and a supportive part of this entire journey. I know I've had these crazy conversations with you. I mean, I mean, I, of course, because of the time difference, I would call you at odd hours. And you have always been very supportive, not only as a doctor, but also as a guiding person, because I was going through a lot of emotional turmoil. and as. I promised to Sanjay that I will stay strong. I had to stay strong. But you know, I had, so you have always been there supporting me, guiding me. And yes, so thank you everybody. And yeah.
That's Thank it. you. Mana, you said it right. You said it so right. He is the brave one. And uh, through all the stories of indiscipline, Sanju was the patient who turned up on time every time. He never broke rules. He sailed through all the treatment. He took all the medicines on time. He took all the injections on time. He turned up for all his tests. So that's a testimony of his integrity as presented by Mrs. Manita Dutt. And uh, kudos to you and more power to you and more power to your message and your ability to come up front to the masses and share your story. Honored. I just want to thank uh, everybody sitting here to hear a little part of this story. I can go on and on, but uh, it is so important that you have family support. I mean, it is so important for a patient that uh, you have a beautiful family who stands like uh, pillars in your life. I thank Mana, I thank my wonderful brother Parish, I thank my beautiful sister Priya and Namrita and the kids and everybody. But that's taken for granted, you know, that's going to be there, these people. But most of all, to have a supportive doctor for a patient. She is she is the Munna Bhai MBBS. <laughs> and uh, along with her is, the, is, her, is her team of Rutu and Chetan and Dr. Hemant and where's my darling, Gina. Oh. There she is. You know, uh, the most wonderful team, you know, they never made me feel like a patient. They made me feel like a king. And that is the beauty. I mean, it's just the touch from a doctor, just uh, it's, it's a different ball game, you know, I mean, doctors are busy and everything like that, but uh, it's just that these, these people are amazing, you know, and uh, I think, I think, I think all the, pe all the guys who are becoming doctors should learn from this team, because I've experienced this team for two and a half years, nearly three years, and it's more of uh, giving you that boost and that I hate injections, but yet they, you know. <laughs> yes, that's the toughest that. thing. You know, any blood draw and any injection is the toughest thing. We have to really work our way through. But uh, thank you, Sanju, for making thank time. You. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Tarang wanted to say a few <coughs> words, but before, uh, if, if you could, should I bring the mic there? I uh, thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> We have a request hai. We are kindly make it uh, quick because uh, he was about to leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know some questions quickly. <laughs> there are only one or two. Sanjay sir, cancer is your journey. Inspiring है जैसे कि आप stage पे बता रहे थे कुछ अगर हमारे साथ हिंदी में साझा करना चाहें कि कैसे आपने fight out किया और कैसे decide किया ठीक है सबसे पहले मैं यही कहना चाहता हूँ कि अगर आपको ऐसा महसूस हुए तो आपको test करना बहुत जरूरी है मतलब I think testing बहुत जरूरी चीज होती है मतलब हर छः महीने में आदमी test करे जो smoker हो या जो तमाकू खाता हो बिल्कुल � because early detection is the main thing. I think जो मैं कह रहा हूँ तो लेकिन वो करना बहुत जरूरी है उससे डरना नहीं है वो treatable चीज है जैसे कि precision की बात कर रहे थे अगर आपका PDL level बहुत अच्छा है तो हो जाता है काम और सब यहाँ की बात है और अगर fight करना है तो करना है अब चाहेंगे आप वो पल बताएं जब आपको पहली बार बताया गया था कि कैंसर है अभी आप स्टेज पे बोले थे हम चाहेंगे कि आप थोड़ा उसके बारे में बोले जब आपको पहली बार बताया गया और कैसा रिएक्शन था वापस डायलॉग बोलूँगा हिंदी में नहीं वो पल देखिए कैंसर एक ऐसा शब्द हो गया है जैसे कि 
मतलब कि कैंसर हो गया है ये हो गया है मैं समझता हूँ कि कैंसर एक बुरी बीमारी है लेकिन हार्ट अटैक भी उतना ही बुरा है किडनी फेलियर भी उतना ही ख़राब है लीवर ट्रांसप्लांट भी उतना ही है उससे भी ज़्यादा है यू नो एंड लेकिन इससे आदमी को क्यों डर लगता है क्योंकि इसको एक बड़ा चढ़ा के बोला गया है ये भी एक डिजीज़ है जिसका हम सामना कर सकते हैं और सामना करना ही चाहिए मेरे हिसाब से तो जी मुझे डर लगा मैंने मैंने सोचा कि अभी क्या होगा यू नो लेकिन कुछ नहीं हो सकता जब इंसान अपना अपने दिमाग से लड़े और दिमाग को मजबूत बनाए तो सब काबिल हो जाता है कोविड आया है तो कैंसर बड़ा नहीं है कैंसर की डायग्नोसिस बढ़ गई है क्योंकि स्कैन ज्यादा हो रहे हैं कोविड के वजह से मैं हो गया मेरा अभी क्या बोलते तो ऐसा नहीं है कि कैंसर के रेट्स बढ़ गए हैं पर कैंसर का डिटेक्शन बढ़ गया क्योंकि स्कैन हो रहे हैं कोविड की वजह से इतना घर वाला एक बगल में ही बैठा उनसे पूछे उनसे पूछे हर किसी घर की तरह तकलीफ तो होती है एंड आई थिंक यू नो पहले तो बहुत घबराहट होती है उसके बाद आई थिंक यू फोकस ऑन वॉट इज देर ऑन हैंड और उस हिसाब से आगे बढ़ना पड़ता है तो आई थिंक यू नो किसी के भी घर में अगर ये कैंसर वर्ड भी आ जाए तो आप सब जानते हैं कि क्या हालत हो जाती है जब संजय सर आपके पास इलाज के लिए आए थे जैसे कि वो बता रहे थे काफी ब्रेव तरीके से उन्होंने कहा कि मुझे कैंसर नहीं है और एक सामान्य बीमारी की तरह ले रहे थे उसके बारे में कुछ बताएंगे तो आ, सिर्फ अभी आ, ब्रेव नहीं है वो शुरू से ही इतने ब्रेव थे जब पहली दफ़ा मैं उनसे मिली थी जब वो फर्स्ट टाइम आए थे मुझसे एज अ पेशेंट डॉक्टर मिलने के लिए तब भी वो बिल्कुल पेशेंट के जैसे नहीं लग रहे थे वो बहुत कॉन्फिडेंस से आए थे और उनका पूरा परिवार उनके साथ आया था ये बात मैं एक्नॉलेज करना चाहूँगी उनके पीछे उनका पूरा परिवार उनके पीछे था उनकी पत्नी जो यहाँ नहीं थी वो वीडियो कॉल पे थी तो पूरा परिवार उनको सपोर्ट कर रहा था और बहुत ही हिम्मत के साथ आए थे और मैंने उनको ये कहा भी था उस दिन कि आप पेशेंट तो बिल्कुल नहीं लग रहे सबसे पहला तो आई थिंक द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो आपने पूछा था कोविड के लिए कोविड के बाद से कैंसर रेट एक इस वजह से भी बढ़े हैं क्योंकि एक साल तक लोग हॉस्पिटल नहीं जा पाए थे तो जिसने भी अपना हेल्थ चेकअप कराना था वो हेल्थ चेकअप पोस्टपोन कर दिया गया था तो उसकी वजह से अब जब लोग चेकअप करा रहे हैं तो नंबर्स आर कमिंग मोर सेकेंड आई थिंक लाइफ में द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज़ द डिसिप्लिन आई थिंक डॉक्टर सेवंती ने मिस्टर दत्त के बारे में भी बताया दैट इवन वैन ही वॉज ऑन कीमोथेरेपी वो एक्सरसाइज करते थे सो आई थिंक दैट इज़ समथिंग एज अ लाइफ स्टाइल वी हैव टू फॉलो वी डोंट हैव टू एक्सरसाइज हैज़ टू बी डन जैसे कि हम सुबह उठ के ब्रश करते हैं सो so, जैसे अगर हम ब्रश करना नहीं भूल सकते हम नाश्ता करना नहीं भूल सकते वैसे हम एक्सरसाइज करना हमें नहीं भूलना चाहिए एंड आई थिंक हेल्दी डाइट एंड हेल्दी एक्सरसाइज इज समथिंग जिससे नॉट ओनली कैंसर आप बाकी सब प्रॉब्लम्स को भी जल्दी इंश्योर कर सकते हैं कि वो होए ना और अगर होए तो वी कम आउट ऑफ इट स्ट्रॉन्गली बिकॉज द बॉडी इज हेल्दी दैट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड हेल्थ चेकअप्स आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट 
and how has a perception in life changed? Perception what? towards life. So what, two what the, how does a day what in life your, looks right now? A day? Yeah, what is a day in your life like right now? And well, when the day in my life right now is yeah. uh, like yeah. every normal day in anybody's life. Right. And when I go What has changed? Yeah, I mean in your routine. Yeah. What has changed? I've become more disciplined. You heard my wife <laughs> saying that. <laughs> you know, so I mean... Uh, let me just uh, tell you that yeah. he has... Uh, really uh, gotten involved in uh, fitness. Uh, we have actually from Reliance also been working with him for the nutrition, for the fitness. But he, he used to be into fitness earlier also. What has changed in terms of fitness? So and there was a gap during the therapy, initial therapy. Yeah. It wasn't being done to that extent. Okay. And now, Sanjay, uh, about yeah, the weight like loss to. and the... Dekhe, I tell you what thing, okay. <coughs> fitness से, exercise से yeah. और एक uh, healthy वातावरण से yeah. आपका immune system बढ़ता है, एक right. boost होता है, yeah. जो immunotherapy से भी होता है, right. लेकिन natural boost आपको uh, व्यायाम से, right. एक healthy diet से बहुत बहुत होता है, जो I think लोगों को ये समझना चाहिए और सीखना चाहिए। right. You know, to combat anything. So, ये सब चीजें ये change आया है. What has been your biggest learning, sir, after this experience? Don't take life for granted. As simple as that. Now I can go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.